What's good, YouTube? So we have a look at ABC that we've never seen, and that's a Trick Clown in the main deck of a ABC deck that does not have a Brilliant Fusion in the main. This man has taken a lot of pieces of the meta and put them together in a different way, and this is Jonathan Reyna's uh, entire deck profile from a Mexican regional. Let's get into it. Three A's, three B's, only two C's, double Thrasher, double Gold, one Silver, one Dragodius, one Trick Clown, and double Maxi. We've got a Foolish that lets him access the Trick Clown without having to play the Brilliant Engine. One Rota, one Book of Eclipse, one Dark Hole, one Instant Fusion, triple Desires, one Empowering Army, or Empowerment, triple Terraforming, triple Union Hanger, double Twin Twisters. We've only got one copy of Floodgate. Triple Psalm Strike, Double Dimensional Barrier, and Emptiness. Triple uh, Dragon Buster, one Norden. We've got Soup, Gigant, the Utopia Package, the entire family here. One Dweller, one Diamond Dire Wolf, one Emerald, one Rhapsody and Berserk, one Castell, and a Rafflesia. Twin Twisters, Regeki, Triple System Down, Double Equivativeness, Double Magnet Reverse, Triple Wiretap, and Triple Anti-Spell Fragrance. He says, hey, my name is Jonathan Reyna, and I just got third place at the Guadalajara, Mexico Regionals last Saturday, December 3rd, and I thought you might find it interesting the deck I played. I ended up X1 in a seven-round tournament. Uh... About the deck, it was really consistent. I decided to play only three gadgets because I wanted to reduce the monsters that required my normal summon, and gadgets almost always get striked or warning. In fact, I don't remember resolving one gadget the whole tournament specifically because I lost so many dice rolls. I played a minimum empowerment in engine because I like the fact that it makes terraforming much more useful. If you draw Dragotis, even though it's not a brick, like uh, Garnet is, it's not a great card. I really think one Dragotis and one Empowerment is the perfect ratio, and I have seen that before. Uh, Trick Clown was amazing all day. It has a lot of synergy with the deck, even if you draw it. Twin Twisters, Empowerment, Tsukiyomi, Buster. And of course, with Foolish Burial, you have access to a level 4 monster without normal summoning that gets to be uh, start recycling from the grave. I cut Instant Fusion to 1 because it's a bad early game. I found myself bricking quite often off of that, and I only played one target for Rafflesia. I don't think it's a great card given that people are maining Regeki and Dark Hole, and I would probably cut the Trap Hole and play Giant Hand instead. The side deck was perfect except for the Anti-Spell. It's only good going first, and you really have advantage in the situation already, so I think it's unnecessary. Also, when I sided the card and didn't draw it first turn, I was afraid because of the high chance of top decking it against an established board. I would have played two Chalice and one Dark Hole instead. Round 1, Satellar Knights lost the dice roll, but 1-2-0, nothing to say here. Uh, round 2, Anti-Meta lost the dice roll, 1-2-1. Game 1, I won with Dragoti shrinking my opponent's monster, attacking with a piece unaffected by traps game two he locked uh, very easily and i lost game three i opened combo plus twister plus wire trap and i won the next turn uh round three metal foes lost the dice roll one two oh game one he opened gofu metal foe uh pops tokens brings counter set two i make sukiyomi and two back row and a uh, passed he activates metal foe again uh over the token i twin twister the metal phone the counter activates another set counter i Dimensional Barrier and win next turn. Game 2, I don't remember very much, but I win with a very strong hand going second. Round 4, Metal Foes won the dice roll, but I lose 1-2. Game uh, 1, I started with Sook and Barrier and Strike. He opened very well. I Barrier Fusion Spell and Strike a Kieran Pendulum Summon. Sadly, I don't have enough good draws with Sukiyomi, and eventually he advanced so hard uh, in the game set. Game 2, I started with Combo and I win. Uh, game 3, very grindy game. In certain moments, he had Tzolkin, Slayer, and Ignister, and Back Row. I summon Thrasher, activate my top deck field, uh, activate my top deck field spell, and went for A. And he thinks for a moment, uh, equip B, and I have C Engrave. I thought he had a barrier, but he was waiting, uh, for Direwolf, so I bust her immediately, and it was warning. He wasn't playing, uh, the Ariande engine, so it was really hard for me to figure that, uh, that it was a warning. Uh, round 5, Paleozoic lost the dice roll, 1-2-1. One, one. Uh, round against a friend of mine, he went first, and I drew two A's. I activate Desires, banish 3B, and drew a third. Needless to say, I lost game 2, open combo plus 5, back row, including 2 wiretap. I tag Buster, afraid of Kaiju, uh, but he had system down. 
I kind of equip with the field spell because of my five sets. Then he kaijued my Tsukiyomi. That was a mistake since I had an A attached to Tsukiyomi. Next turn, I activate my instant fusion set, summon an A, equip a B, and win that turn. Uh, game three opened a second wiretap. That card is insane. I won fast. Round six, Metal Foes lost the dice roll. One, two, one. I don't remember this match really well, except that in game three, he's cherried me and didn't have any other play. That's just why I don't like cherries. It's a mindless minus one that doesn't do anything against an actual board. I won grinding with Utopia. Round seven, Synchro Deck won the dice roll in one, two, zero. Oh. He was at five, one at that point, and it was a surprise of, of my tournament. Sadly for him, I won the dice roll and opened the nuts. Shoutouts to my friend that uh, lent me cards, especially Jonathan Alexis. Also, shout out to Adrian uh, Madriz, YCS Mexico winner, for yet another regional top, and to Alan Quintero for taking the whole event. So there you have it, Jonathan uh, Reyna's entire tournament report, third place, getting that deck box and the mat at Guadalajara, Mexico.